Hi everyone. Welcome to Sheet Leveler. My name is Joanne and I'm here to help you quickly and easily navigate through Excel with the help of our simple video tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to obtain stock prices in Excel. With this solution, you will be able to access the most recent stock information from all around the globe. So let's get started. To get started with collecting stock exchange data in Excel, the first step is to enter the tickers or stock symbols for the companies whose data you wish to access. We will enter the stock symbols for Apple, Microsoft and Amazon into these cells. It is advisable to use tickers when referring to a company as each ticker is a distinct code that is assigned to a particular business. It may be simpler to type out the names of companies rather than entering the information manually, but it is not accurate and there is a greater risk of making a mistake in the data table, which would have an effect on the ultimate outcome. Once we have filled out the fields for the stock information, we can highlight the area that contains this information and then click the Stocks option under the Data tab. Tickers are transformed into a specific format which displays the company name, the stock exchange it is associated with, and the ticker symbol that is used on that particular exchange. This format allows us to easily access information about the company and its stock. To access data about the company that is compatible with Excel, click the stocks icon located here, just before the company name. In addition to the price, there is other useful information available. It is essential to remember that this helpful feature of accessing stock exchange data is only available in either Microsoft Excel 365 or the online version of Excel. If you'd like to get the newest version of Excel, you can purchase it through the affiliate link provided in the description below. By buying Excel this way, you'll be helping to support Sheet Leveler and the tutorials they offer. Thank you for your support. Now let's continue and look at how we can obtain the stock price data located in column C. Let's select the stock and click on the Insert Data icon in the upper right corner. You will be presented with a selection of choices to pick the data you need. To find the current price for each stock, we'll click on the Price tab and the prices will appear in column C. To access different data types, simply open the list and select the one you need. So for example, we can also include market cap in this data table and adjust the formatting to make it appear more organized. If you would like to access data from another stock exchange, you can do so by right-clicking on the ticker and selecting Change under the Data Type option. A window appears on the right side of the screen. To find a list of stock exchanges, we can delete the stock exchange identifier and the ticker from the search bar. Then, click on the search icon and Excel will display the list. So, for example, we can select the London Stock Exchange by clicking on it to confirm the selection. The data used on the London Stock Exchange has shown that the information regarding Apple's stock exchange has been updated, including the ticker symbol. We have more to explore today. To ensure that you are viewing the most current information, it is essential to refresh the data in Excel. To do this, simply go to the Data tab and click on the Refresh All button. You will then have immediate access to the latest information from the stock exchange. Before we finish, it is important to note that the information from stock exchanges may not be entirely up to date. To view the disclaimer, please click here. Below the disclaimer, you will find a list of supported exchanges and delay times provided by Refinitiv. If you found this tutorial helpful, give the video a like. Is this your first time on me? I'll be more than happy to welcome you to our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join us. Learn how to use Excel like a boss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.